Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Hope you already understand our previous class where we already explained multi-level and single inheritance concept. Now today we will try to understand hierarchical inheritance where we have one parent class and multiple child class. Okay, so A if A is my parent class and I can inherit A class properties from B class or C class or D class where all these B, C, D are nothing but my child class. So let's take this example in Eclipse. So I have already opened my Eclipse ID and under a com.demo.hierarchical a new package I have created three class parent class okay so this is my parent class then I have created two child class so this is my child class one and this is my child class two okay now what is my aim my aim is simple from this two child class child class one and child class two I will try to inherit the properties of parent class okay so under parent class let's create a method let's say method name is display parent message and here simply pass a print statement let's say I am in parent class okay so this is my parent class and under this parent class I have a you know method display parent message and here I am simply passing a or printing a statement I am in parent class okay now this is my child class child class 1 and I want to inherit the properties of parent class so definitely I have to extend parent class so use the keyword extends and the parent class name show what is my parent class name so my parent class name is basically parent class okay so the syntax is something like this child class one extend parent class okay now under that again create a method let's say the method name is display child one message okay so here what we will do we will try to you know make a print statement i am in child one okay and we will try to you know access the parent class method that is basically display parent message okay so i am not you know again creating this type of method implementations under child o class one i am simply trying to access this method which is basically this method is basically part of parent class okay so from this child class one i am trying to pass a uh, you know this class own message that is i am in child class one and i am again you know access the method which is basically part of parent message or parent class and the message is something like i am in parent class so if you save this one and try to run this using some main method class so we can easily get two message for this method one is i am in child you know one and second one is that is basically i am in parent class okay now coming to the next child class that is basically child class 2 here again i want to inherit the same parent class property okay and to do that definitely like this child class one where i extend the parent class the same thing i have to do for this child class two so i have to use the extends keyword and from where i try to extend the same parent class so i can give the parent class name here and here let's create another method something like this let's say public void and display message two okay so let me copy paste this and instead of one this is basically two and my method start here and end here and here again give a simple print statement like this instead of i am in class you know child one make it like i am in child two okay So this is a simple message now as I already extend the parent class show what is the properties of parent class parent class properties is like display parent message okay so I can also you know access this okay from here because this is my child 2 class I already extend the parent class and as I extend the parent class I can easily inherit its property and this is its method right so now my parent class that is basically a single parent class and i have two child class child class one and child class two and you can see i am able to access the parent class property from both this child class right so now create a main method something like this okay and first try to create an instance of child class one and try to access the you know 
method this method and then try to create another instance of child class 2 and try to access this method so once we try to access this method we can see that this parent class access is working or not okay so first try to create for child 1 so what is the class name the child class name is child class 1 so we have to create an instance let's say instance one is equal to new and we have to definitely use the constructor so this is my child class one instance and from this instance we can call the child class method that is basically child class one message so i can simply paste it here something like this and if i try to run this so what it will do it will go to this child class one first it will print for this method it will print you know i am in child one and try to access the parent class message and under this parent class you know method for this parent message it's give i am in parent class okay so let's run this first and try to check what is the output so you can see the output is coming first i am in child class one then i am in parent class so similar way for child two we can create another instance and what is the class name of child two this is basically child two so you can create an instance something like inst2 and definitely we have to use the constructor of child class 2 okay now using this instance again we can call the method which is available under child 2 class and what is this method method name is basically display child 2 message okay so if i call this using this instance okay so it will basically the second statement will give that i am in first it will give i am in child class 2 and then as i am trying to access the parent class method so it will give me i am in parent class so once i run this full program so it will first print this and then for this okay so let's run this so you can see for the first one it's give these two statement i am in child one and i am in parent class and for the second it will give these two statement i am in child two and then i am in parent so you can see both this case i am able to access parent class method okay which is basically i am in parent class this message actually coming from this method and this method i can able to access from child class 1 and child class 2 that's mean hierarchical way i can access one parent so one parent multiple child this is nothing but hierarchical inheritance hope you understand the concept okay now next class we will try to implement the example that we already explain in our very first inheritance class okay so this is basically room class we will try to create a parent class then we will try to create a bedroom or dining room or kitchen room and try to access their properties and you know its own property so let's meet in our next class i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel.